the Florida Solar Energy Center is the first in the country to be set up and funded. Created by an act of the legislature, it opened in July 1975 as part of the state university system. Scientists and technicians work on research projects, maintain the largest library on the subject in the area, provide information to the public, and serve as a clearinghouse for the latest developments in the field. Experts say they expect solar air conditioning systems on the market within five years and envision the warm surface water of the oceans as a vast untapped energy source. If harnessed, that development could be especially important in Florida. Right now, the center's most important program is testing products, mainly solar collectors used for heating water, space, or pools. Manufacturers send their units here, and technicians measure their performance and efficiency. Scientists are still learning about the limitations and capabilities of these systems, even though they have been in use for years. The newness about solar energy is the interest and the public's support and encouragement to find new energy sources as well as governments and private industries uh, interest in wanting to become involved. The increased demand for information about solar energy has created a unique problem here at the center. They can't evaluate products as fast as consumers and industry would like. So in the next few months they're going to be increasing their capacity to double the amount of tests. This is Daryl Pollock, Channel 4 News in Cape Canaveral.